Vertigo Canyon. Rock crawl. Alright, welcome back. We have Dexter's new rock crawl here. So we're going to give this one a bit of a whirl. Um, I actually should have done this one a little bit sooner, but uh, there's uh, so many good event labs to cover. Now this particular one, obviously in certain points, if your car does flip forward, uh, for instance, uh, roll over, just hit the rewind immediately just to self-correct. Um, reason for this, when we start going up the actual uh, areas a bit more, what you find is if you let it reset the car automatically, it may reset um, back on the ground level. Uh, which is something you probably don't want to do, but it is unavoidable when we're talking rock crawling maps. Um, here we go. Up you go, Cassie. Up you go. There we go, a bit of wiggling, and we're up. So yes, some of the fine things with rock rolling, if you get stuck, try and wiggle the car around a bit. Short bursts of power sometimes will assist. Um, yeah. Look at this. Ooh. Now this is one of these areas where you really don't want to uh, let the game reset the car position. This is just brilliant. You'll never get a uh, just go up here. Alright, get that car around, get that car around, go, go, go. Now these are very steep uh, points to go down. If you, fl if you accelerate too fast, your car will potentially, um, X. your car will potentially get stuck at the front and then just tip forward. Uh, so yeah, you want to be cautious on these areas. Get over here. Come on, over those rocks. Everyone's had a great day, of course. Um, generally, a pretty good day for me. Uh, what was it we had yesterday? Uh, X. What's this? I had some guy trying to uh, complain about uh, someone did a three-point turn in my driveway and knocked a massive rock off one of my side driveway entrances and. Complaining that uh, his wife had tripped on said rock, but there was no wife to be seen, and uh, yeah, interesting. He felt the need to press my doorbell at least 30 times, then go hit the fence. Approximately, I reckon, 17, 18 times, and then come back and proceed to press my doorbell. So, yeah, naturally, he. There was no warm, no warm reception from me after you want to harass my doorbell that much. But uh, here's what it is. Can't be avoided. People do three point turns all the time, but annoyingly, if someone wants to be a clown at some uh, an un a stranger's door. Especially when they're wielding a uh, stick. Ooh. He would have absolutely gone over the top if, he, if I approached the door with some handheld weapon. Anyway, that was my fun story for the week. 
let's keep on rolling down here. I'm doing a pretty good job. So yeah, I mean, Dex... Oh, oh. We've got it. Dex to really knocked it out of the park with this one. It's quite a decent length as well. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, my favourite. Okay. Oh. Come on. What's in store? Tip my hat to Dexter on this one. This this is such a good rock roll. <laughs> this this thing just chews up the rocks. Brilliant. Come on. Around there. Top left, you'll see we're only at 33%. Like I said, he Dexter has really gone all out to do a proper long rock crawl, which is just brilliant fun. Um, I definitely recommend to load this one up if you're a fan of rock crawling because yeah, this one is pretty epic. and the water are really effective as well. I think the one thing I do enjoy about rock crawls are you can go at your own pace, uh, you know, and that's one thing. With the right vehicle you can go at a reasonable pace, but yeah, it's it's just fun. It's a, a puzzle, a challenge. Some of them are just like almost possible. <laughs> I've come across a few of them. Uh, you get halfway and you just walk away going, eh, this thing's just not going to happen. But, uh, this vehicle is definitely going to be going in for a service after this. I'd love to see a Jesco get through here. You're in that 50% mark. Almost out of the tunnel. Okay, what's next? Of course there's more rocks next. What did we think that was going to be? Okay, logs. Come on. Get over that lock. Up you go. Oh. Hell yeah. Alright. There's a jump up here, I can see it.
across here. You never feel safe crossing these. Okay, another one. You got it. to heaven up here. Monster jump. Jump. Get up. Come on. Come on, car. We're at sixty-two percent. I see those curves. If I go fast enough, you can possibly flip. Okay, now our next step is down here. What I really like is it's just well fenced off. It's just so much attention to detail. Up we go. Up we go. Right. Excellent. We're on. I'm trying to do this with a jimmy. It is so damn big. It uh, it does make it a little more awkward. This one, at least, you get the flexibility about the C. Seventy percent. Get on down. Sounds like a line from the song. Let's get over these rocks. You can imagine walking over this barefoot and being in a beach with just shells and stuff. It will not be nice. Thank God we've got four big rubber tires. Well, let's go. Passenger seat. Someone's trying to drink a uh, can of soft drink and it would not be going pretty. I would be in the driver's seat laughing my head off. And they complain later I've got to clean the car. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go car. Let's go up. Oh, I forgot about that one. Almost tripped me up there, Dex. But my perfect run is not going to be ruined. Green beast. Jesus, come on. Come on, over you go. I gotta say, the rocks in the water are really, uh, really good. And these logs. There we go. Get over. Perfect. I think the worst one that I hate is the logs. Out of all the things trying to crawl over, tree logs are, I think, probably some of the more annoying ones. 
but fun at the same time. You gotta have the combination, you know. You've literally got a bit of everything in this uh, obstacle course. So again, if uh, I know I've said it before in the video already, but yeah, shake goes at the front. Do give this one a hit up. Um, it literally has a bit of every type of obstacle in it. Uh, definitely a fun one to run. And that there is the finish line. I'm going to go inside the shack for a beer. Thank you for watching as always and tuning in. Do hit my channel up, hit that subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. 16 minutes and 6, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, let me know how you get on with this one, uh, if you run it. And uh, thank you again. Gotcha.